Greetings, I'm Berent, and welcome to Meet Me at the Table. Though I could say it's probably Meet Me at the Painting Table today. What we're doing in this video, which is going to be a little bit different, is normally I do a lot of board games on my channel, and they're super fun to do. But I also use painted miniatures when I do that. And at the time of this recording, my painting station has gotten a little bit overwhelming, and I don't have enough room for all the sweet paints that I've been using lately. If you're interested in seeing anything that I've painted, I do do a live painting session every week. You can check that out in my live section, or join us in the chat. It's super fun to do. This is going to be the new one that I've been able to get. I've been looking for a fantastic one and Graphic Results has built this amazing paint station. It fits almost everything I'm ever going to need. It's three things long. It's one of this, this, and there's another corner one over here that I'm going to put together. These are all dry fit right now. They are not glued. I'm going to show you how exactly I'm going to put this together. So if you ever get one of these, you'll be able to assemble it yourself. The cool thing about this one is it fits all different types of paints. For example, all my contrast paints, they're going to fit in there as well. I've got some of these uh, different things that I use for painting. I've got that. I've got my primers that I use. I can put those right in here or right in here, whichever one I feel like using. I do have those speed paints used by Army Painter, and those are going to fit nicely in there. We have the regular Army Painter paints. They also fit in there nicely. And even the Turbo Dork paints. And these paints can fit in this way, or you can fit them upside down if you want to in the paint station in case you want to make sure that your paints are nicely, like all the paints down there, and then you just shake it up a little bit before you go. You either can do either one of those. So in this video, I am going to try to put this together. Well, I'm not going to try to. I'm going to. I'm going to put this together. You can see exactly how I was able to assemble this so that if you ever get it, you can. And, and during the time of this recording, there may be a limited time to do this, but the designer of this has given me a link that I'm going to put in the description of this video where you can get a discount if you want to purchase this exact painting station when it is complete. And that's an amazing, generous offer that he's doing right now. Of course, and in full disclosure, this was given to me by Graphic Results, but I'm not receiving any kickback of any kind just was able to get this painting station which is super cool and I even got my airbrush stuff I can throw that right up there so I mean all this stuff fits super cool right in there and of course your brushes can fit up there now let's go ahead get this assembled and put it onto my painting station so when it's fully done and ready to go with everything stocked you can see what an amazing station this is and if you're excited to see how this is put together and what it looks like when it's all done then I need you to meet me at the well, I guess I should say painting table The first part we're going to assemble is that middle section. I do want to mention that this exact station is going to be about 23 to 24 inches long, just to let you know. This is a pretty long station, but it's cool because it holds so many different types and so many paints. It's going to be awesome. We're going to take all the parts here. This is going to be the support thing that goes in the middle. These are our two side pieces, and these are going to be the four pieces that are going to be the actual part that you see. Now, when we go to assemble this thing, there's a few things I want to talk about. First, if there's anything that becomes a little monotonous I might time lapse those and make those go so much faster and then we just need to make sure we have all with things we need here's a dead paintbrush or a paintbrush I don't care about because I'm gonna be using wood glue you could just put the glue on there yourself but I like to actually paint it on there so I have a little bit more control over it on top of that I'm gonna want actual wood glue so I have the wood glue right here and then I'm gonna have some paper towels as well it will wipe off any excess glue I have or you can just use your fingers to wipe it off it's not the end of the world the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put these two things aside we're going to set everything into this. This is the middle part that is going to be a support thing. So what I want to do is I want to put all these pieces right in there. And sorry for all the banging, but that's how you get when you're actually putting things together. We're going to put that one in there. The next one is going to be this one. I'm going to set this one into here just like that. Actually, I'm going to spin it around just because of aesthetics for myself. We're going to put that there. The next one we're going to do is this one. We're going to place this one right in here. There is a little slot right here that these two things are going to fit right into. And it's going to line up just like so. And it's going to push through the middle and push in just like that. And the last one goes up on top. I will tell you right now, now that you have this all built like that, that is how you want it. Do not glue it. I did not glue this, and I think it's better if you don't glue the main support beam to these pieces, because that way you have a little bit more play if you need to use it when you're putting them into these little cyst things here. Now that that is kind of all kind of put together a little bit, we're going to glue all these little side pieces right into here. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take my paintbrush and start putting some glue on the edges of these, just like this, on the very edge of all of these. I don't actually want it on this. This is going to go through. I want that off there. But I do want to put some glue around all all these different edge parts here that are going to physically touch that part of the board. 
and I want to be a little bit careful, but that's okay if I'm not. Now this is where I'm talking about where I might actually time lapse a little bit. I'm actually going to take this out of the support just to show you how I'm doing this. We're running our glue right along the edge there, right like this, so that it's all set to go. And you want a good amount, but you don't want too much. So we're just going to put it right in each of these. Now I also want to put it kind of right on the little corner areas here because that's also going to dig into the sides. And once that's done, I'm going to do that to every one of these pieces, and then we put them, and then I'm going to put them back into there. So I'm going to time lapse this so you can see how this all goes. I am slowing down the video one last time to make sure everybody understands that you kind of want to be a little fast on this because you hate for this glue to dry after you've done the first one. So you need to make sure you get all these done as kind of in a timely fashion here. Don't let them sit around too long. All right, we have them all finished, painted up with the wood glue. We're now going to attach them back to this thing and then we're going to stick them right into this. That's going to be the plan. So let's get these all put together here just like this. Make sure the glue is facing all the right way. Because that'd be hilarious if I didn't do that right. Put this one right in to its tab. It's got a neat little tab. There we go. And this one right here. With that done, now I can stand this up and put them right in there. Or I can attempt to do it this way. Either way works. We're going to try it this way so that you can all see how it's going to go in. So again, we're going to match all these up. We're going to stick them right in together. So that all these go in. I actually recommend trying to get this third one in first because that has so much extra support due to that bigger support beam that it has in the middle. So if I line all these up, this one goes in, that one goes in. Now let's get the second one down here in just like that. And it all came out, not a big deal. We'll get it perfectly in line. This is why I usually stand it up to do this. So we're gonna do that just because it's gonna be so much easier. Once it's up like this, these are all just gonna fall right into place. That one goes there. That one goes in just like that. That one's in, that one's in. Now let's get the second one in. Goes in just like, let's try and get that one in there. Like that, this one like that. Actually it would probably be a little bit easier to not have these attached to that thing, but that's how I did it before and it worked just fine. All right, there we go. I think they're all in. Except for this one, there we go, and this one. Boom. All right, they're all in there and they're all down. So you can kind of push down a little bit, don't be too forceful. And the glue eventually will hold. I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna come from a different angle so you can see the top. We're now looking at it from above and here we go, or kind of from above. We have these all securely fastened into the bottom section here. So now I'm gonna to try to get the next part on right there. Again, we're gonna take our glue paint here and we're it's actually just glue, not glue paint. It's got a paint brush, but the only thing that's painty about it. We're gonna put these glue right in here. Now again, I don't need to paint this top part cause that's gonna stick out a little bit, but I do wanna get all the other parts full of glue. And again, this is where I will time lapse it cause you don't need to see me painting all this glue on. Slowing the video down again, we do are now going to place this out on here. There may be some that of the glue that's going to go over this a little bit or even on this side of it. I'm not too worried about that. It's not going to really show too much when it comes to this, but I'll show you how you can kind of get that off. If you notice right down here at the bottom, if I spin this thing around, we have some glue that's kind of overlaps. So you can take your finger and just kind of rub it against there if you want to kind of get it off there. Or you can use a paper towel to wipe that off as well. I'm not too worried about it. I think it's not, it works just fine the way it is like that. So again, we're going to spin this back around so that I can <laughs> attach this top part. We're going to slide it again right in there. And we're going to just connect all these little parts that we see through the holes of this. Slide them in there. And this is going to fit in perfectly. Might take a little bit of time just to make sure you got everything lined up perfectly, but once it is, it should just snap right in or slide right into place, I should say. Top one's in. I get the middle one in. That one's in. Can be a little tricky to make sure every one of these is lined up perfectly. There we go, got that one in. Let's get the bottom one in. There we go, all of them are in. 
perfect. Just put a little bit of pressure on it for just a little while so you can make sure all that glue is going to fit into these areas here. And I can even see some glue coming out, so I know that means they're all nicely pressed in together there. I'm going to wipe that little piece of glue off there. And this is going to be done. Now I should have this sit here just like this so that it all doesn't come apart. Another option you can do if you're interested is you could take rubber bands and kind of run these around here so it kind of secures this together a little bit more for you if you're interested. I'm not too worried about it. I've put some of these together in the past and they usually stick together just fine. I'm just going to click in or make sure some of these are more secure. Now they see it in this fashion. Just make sure some of the glue is sticking there. If the glue is holding it coming out the sides, it usually means it's all good. So that one is perfect. Let's look at this side a little bit more. I think that is looking just fine. Everything is looking perfect. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. That is all glued up and ready to go. Let's take a look at the corner piece. The corner piece is a little bit more tricky than this one, so I want to make sure I show you how to put that one together. And once that's done, I'll show you the final product and where it sits in my painting station. But before I do, I do want to mention one more thing. This does come with connectors that look like this. And once these are all put together, to just make it even more secure, these things are gonna to connect together with these right here. They're gonna clamp in together. You can glue them in there or not, it is up to you. But that's how you can keep the three different parts together is by using these little connectors that are provided as well. This is the corner side, and this is gonna come with two of these side pieces. Again, another stabilizer and four different rows here. The way this is gonna work is again, we are gonna assemble this thing to connect them all and then we're gonna place them into this once everything is glued. So the first thing we're gonna do is just we're gonna, oops, is we're gonna glue the sides of all the, the ones that are going to go into that side of it. So let me make sure we have all the sides lined up. We're gonna put them into there and just like that. Now, of course, it is gonna go the opposite direction, but you'll see how this all works in just a second. So we're gonna glue up the corner of each one of these sides. So let's start with this one. And again, I'll probably time lapse this because I don't think you need to see me painting all of this wood glue onto each of these things. Now at this point, we're gonna load these all up into this thing. So let me grab the bottom one here and it is gonna fit in just like this. Again, I, will, I want to make sure you understand this. I do not glue these into this support beam. The support beam is really just a support beam. I let it free flow. Do not glue these in here or it makes it a little bit tougher to make sure everything matches up perfectly. We're gonna take the final one here and put it in there. Make sure we got all the glue sides facing the right direction. Let's make sure we did that, otherwise it's gonna be a really funny video. Let's see here, all the glue is on all the right sides except for the one on the middle. <laughs> So we're going to flip this one over and there we go. All right, just like that. Flip it and attach it. It's going to slide into that little thing there just like that. And this one will fit in like this. Now that we have that like that, all the glue facing the right direction, we are going to take our side piece here. We're going to put it like that so that we can match everything up. Now this is kind of the hard part of the whole deal is being able to flip this thing. Actually, I think I'm going to try it this way. This might be actually a bit easier. We're gonna to try to stick it in so that all of these things perfectly line up. So we're gonna start at the bottom one. Actually, we should always kind of start with that third one. Make sure that's lined up a little bit. Because that third one is the trickiest one to get. So here we go, we'll get the third one in there. And then we can work on these second ones. The second one here fits in just like that. First one down at the bottom, now the second one slid out of its part and that's totally fine. Because again, like I said, I'm going to do it the way I thought I'd done it the other times. Stand it up. This is the way to do it. <laughs> Get that in there. Fit that one into its spot. I know it's kind of hard to see with the camera right now, but it fits right into its second spot. And then slide it into its support piece. 
And then we'll get the third one in. Look through the side here. Third one's going to fit in right like that. There we go. Second one fit is not in yet. Got to get it in. Come on, get in there. Second one, just slide right in there. There we go. It slid in. And like I said, notice this thing. If you notice, this is not glued in, so it kind of free flows a little bit, and that's okay because once it's all secure, it will work just fine. Our first one's in. Our second one's in. Our third one's in. And our third one, if we notice here, is not all the way lined up flush, so we're going to push that down a little bit, and that will reconnect it to that second one that has kind of come out a little bit, and that's just fine. Let's make sure the thing is in. It's a little finesse. But once you get it in there, it works perfectly fine. Come in just like that. There we go. Drop my camera. That was awesome. This is a tough little thing. The corners are a lot trickier than that first part for sure. The corners are way trickier. Just slide that in. We need this thing flush. There we go. It's almost flush. There we go. Now it's flush. I'm going to take this top one off. That's what I did. Top one, we can get in on our own in just a second. Get the third one in. Perfect. Third one's in. Second one's getting in. Go in there, second one. Boom, just like that. And the first one is in. There we go. So we got all those in there. This we're going to slide back a little bit, and everything's lined up. Now we're going to take this one and put it on. This one's going to probably prop some of the other ones out, but that's okay. We can get them back in in just a second. We're just going to lightly push that in and down this one comes into its final resting spot. Right. Come on there. Oh boy, that's going to be awesome. Okay. Now we have those in. I'm just going to push down a little bit on this and on each one of these just a little bit. Just like that and like that. Make sure they're all in. They are all in. Now, if you notice, this is free flowing right here, and that's totally fine. I have no problem with that. These are nicely lined up back here, and that's how I want it. Because once I put the second one on, this will all structure in perfectly. So now we're going to paint down the side of each one of these. So we're all set for that second piece here. That's going to be the tricky part. We're going to the next piece on. So again, we'll time lapse through me painting on the glue. You don't need to see that. But I do want you to notice that it is a little tricky to get these completely together. And there, are, this is not the end-all be-all of how you should put this together. There are other ways to do it. I'm just doing it this way. Other people have probably found easier ways to do this. But the assembly is pretty much this way. You want to make sure you have that middle section kind of there ready to go. And then you can get all the rest of these in. Now this thing might be a little bit trickier because that top piece is already on from the other side. But it should be able to line up pretty well now that we have the other side in there. It is fairly straightforward once you get the hang of how to put this together. There's not really anything tricky about it. Just making sure everything lines up as you're trying to slide those pieces in. It's pretty much the trickiest part of this whole build. And we're just going to finish up painting up all the sides here, and then we'll stick them all together. And we'll be done. I'm not going to put the other corner together, because once you see how this one goes together, the other one does exactly the same thing. There's nothing different about it. And again, like I said, multiple ways to do this. You can do it in any different way you want. A little bit more here. There we go. Perfect. Now let's take our piece and slide it in. We're going to move this a little bit, and I apologize, the camera angle isn't perfect here. We're going to try to get it in here just perfect. Take the middle part first and see if I can get that in there. Try to find its exact place. Try to find the second one's exact place. I want to keep the bottom. The, I want to keep the one that already assembled together here. Just putting that in there. That one's in. Now we're going to go to the second one and the first one down at the bottom here. Second one and first one. We're just going to kind of there we go. Boom, just like that. And it's all in there. I'm just going to push it together a little bit to make sure it's nice and flush. Then I'm going to flip it back up which I probably shouldn't do because the glue is dry. But there we go. This one is completely put together now, 100%. Now the trick again, like I said, is I don't glue this in. I let this free flow a little bit. Once you get these two together, that's when you could attempt to glue this together. You can just need to put a little bit of glue on the bottom of this and a little bit of glue on the bottom of that one if you want to, to put, and then just push them together and that would glue them in place. You don't need a lot of glue for those to get them to work right. 
But so if that is an option for you, if you're interested, but now that I have both of these glued together at this point, this after this dries, of course, I'm going to wait a whole day before I really go to town on this thing. This is when I'm going to want to start using those connectors and I can connect these things. There's two in the back and there's one on the bottom of each one of these. I'll show you one more to give you, show you exactly where each of those connectors are. You can see them right here, here, and here. Those are going to be the three places that they connect to each other, back there, back there, and on the bottom there. So once, like I said, once this is fully dried and ready to go, I will glue those little connectors together. Or I might not glue them and just put them in there just to give them the support. And then if I ever decide to move this around or do something different that's not all one big piece, I could separate them later on and do something different if I wish to. At this point, we have our station completely finished and glued up. This really only took me about 15, 20 minutes at max to put this whole thing together. Once I, once you get the idea of how it all works together. Remember, these supports back here are really important. You want to make sure, especially in the corner, once to kind of have them in, especially for this third row when you're sitting everything glued together. I do want to show that this thing is potentially about 20 or sorry, it's 32 inches long once it's all said and done. I am wrong about the size of this thing. It is 32 inches long, not 23. Oh, it's 23 to here. I forgot to add the extra on. It is 32 inches long once this is all set to go. So now at this point, we are going to put it back where my painting station is and see what it looks like. It is now out here and assembled on my painting station just to show you exactly how much and what it can hold. Look, it shows it can actually hold an entire set of army painter paints plus an entire line of speed paints, a good majority of contrast paints, not the full line, but it's what I use, and a good set of turbo dork paints as well. And my brushes are all set up in the back, plus I even have access to some of my extra washes if I need them. Again, I do want to say that this was a good 32 inches long. It does fit in my painting station area perfectly, but it might be a little bit big or small for yours. The, I did connect all these with those little connectors, but again, if you want to, this could be fully modular. You could put this thing somewhere else that might be more convenient for you. It doesn't all have to be laid out exactly like this. Also, I do want to mention that once I did get these back here, I did glue in those two sets of uh, supports for the two corner pieces. I didn't still glue in this one. It still held just fine, but I did find that this one was moving. So I did actually glue that in really well and tight. So it's not going to move anymore. And this looks absolutely fantastic. I am super excited to get back to actually painting. I know this is a little bit different video than I normally do, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the assembly and the showcase of this amazing paint station. Again, the link to it is in my description if you're interested in it. And if you use that link, you'll be able to gain some discount for this actual product. I'm pretty excited. The company, Graphic Results, are an amazing company. They made an absolutely fantastic painting station. I can't think of a better one. I went looking for one, and this is the best one I found. I'm super excited. I'm glad I did it. I do want to mention this isn't the only one they have. They have a whole bunch of other ones that you can take a look at as well. If you click the link, it'll show you so many different painting stations you can choose from. But of course, this one is on discount if you're interested. If you did like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell symbol so you know when more videos come out. Of course, I do fantastic playthroughs of board games, and I do some live painting as well. So please feel free to check out any of those and join us for the live sessions. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please feel free to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description of this video. Those that have already joined are right here on the screen. I want to thank you for your Patreon support. It's absolutely amazing to have you there. And if you are interested in supporting, some of the things that you'll be able to do is gain access to the ability to vote for some of the players that vote that play in our games. Also be able to vote for the games itself that we might be putting on the channel. And you can help me decide what we're going to be painting as well for the live painting sessions that get us ready for the games that we put on the channel. So there you have it. That is the painting station wood paint bottle rack organizer workstation from Graphic Results. Again, thank you Graphic Results for sending me a copy of this. This is absolutely awesome. This really cleaned up my painting area and has made it super accessible to gain access to any paints I need. Again, thank you so much for watching. And if you're excited to see what comes next, then I need you to meet me at the table. Or I should say maybe the painting table. Pizza.